5G? Well, what is 5G? What are the benefits? There are still lingering questions about this next generation of mobile internet. And what better place to find out about 5G's first stop here in China? This month, China's phone and telecoms gear maker, Huawei, is unveiling its first 5G phone. So this is the world's first 5G phone used at the moment, and it's called Huawei's Mate 20X. Now, if you combine it with a 5G network, how long would it take to download stuff like movies and also to make video calls uh, to friends? So here with me to talk about it more is head of, uh, head of 5G at Huawei, Mr. Zhao. So Mr. Zhao, what's the difference between a 4G and a 5G? 那跟四 G 相比呢，五 G 主要有三个方向的增强。那第一个呢，我们叫做增强型 MBB EMBB。那过去在一个真正的商用网络里面，通常一个四 G 用户可获得的数据在二十兆到三十兆左右。但是到五 G 网络里面，一个用户可获得的速率要在一个 G 左右，甚至更高。四 G 时代，我只能看一些高清视频。但是到了五 G 之后呢，我们就可以享受一些 AR 啊、VR 这样的业务。So it can do great things, but we have to put it to the test. 四 G 网络测试的话，基本上应该在二十到三十兆左右。现在，所以这个五 G 网络能达到四 G 的十倍到二十倍左右的速率。And because it's still being developed, it will eventually become fast enough, for example, to download a two-hour movie in just 3.6 seconds, compared to six minutes on 4G and 26 minutes with 3G. But that is not everything. From phone to pandas, Huawei is also creating a 5G network powerful enough to safely run a hyper-connected world beyond just your mobile phone. So much so that virtual reality technology is now welcoming visitors to the Chengdu giant panda breeding base. So VR spectacles is one of the things that uses 5G to get you closer to the pandas. As you can see behind me. Basically, they are resting up on the tree, and there are some playing on the ground. So I'm literally meters away from the panda. So panda is kind of waiting for me to feed him some bamboo shoots, I think. As soon as I put on the VR spectacles, I can get a closer view of this enclosure right here. If I look to my left and if I look to my right, basically it follows the direction, and I can see closer. Meanwhile, beyond just phones and headsets, 5G is going out onto the streets. So this is the 5G tour bus that's currently on trial in the city of Chengdu, and specifically, it's being trialed on the Second Ring Road, which is about 30 kilometer drive, and the journey takes about 30 to 40 minutes, and is fully covered by 5G network. But what does that mean? And this 5G network is the largest standalone network in China, and that means the resources available are much more. On the bus, download and upload speeds on 5G is much much faster, and this means commuters are now able to live stream 4K and 8K videos using 5G, and only 5G can provide enough bandwidth for 8K videos. And when you compare this with 4G capacity, it tells a different story. But having a 5G connection during a bus journey sounds brilliant. But I think the ultimate goal for companies like Huawei is to create driverless buses. And autonomous driving is part of Huawei's efforts, with the country's network operators to establish 5G industry applications. And remote healthcare is no exception. Here at the Chengdu's Number Three People's Hospital, the 5G network is making sure that doctors are able to carry out ultrasound tests on patients in another city. And in this case, 5G is essentially powering a robot arm that can track the doctor's hand movements when they are operating probe devices. And they say the diagnosis rate is as high as doing it in person. How useful is it for you as a doctor? That you can, you are able to have this equipment, you know, equipped with 5G、yeah. uh, network connection. 首先，我们这个这个设备哈、啊，其他地方它没有医生的话，我们可以操作。然后，因为
以前的话，比如说四 G， 它这个速度跟不上，这个我们移动探头它的速度会会非常慢。现在有了五 G 以后，这个速度啊、呃，可能响应时间在几毫秒之内的。我们移动探头向左，它也向左；我们移动探头向右，它向右，就方便我们进行诊断，确切的诊断。According to Huawei, the 5G network avoids buffering, shaking, or vagueness during remote exams, and various fields are being explored in more than 30 cities across China, and their aim to change lives and societies. One thing is clear, 5G is coming, and it will fundamentally support every aspect of our life. And for those countries who embrace 5G, they could end up being leagues ahead than countries who do not. I'm Josh, stay tuned with China Matters.